Hello, DF Squad. With the lightning speed rise of generative AI in the past year, stable diffusion, mid journey, etc., do you foresee a future where DLSS can have an auto remaster feature to automatically upgrade game graphics in real time? Maybe let you choose from different art rendering styles. I'm interested in hearing thoughts from all of you, including pure, purists like John, <laughs> who value the authenticity of each individual <laughs> pixel. I'll, I'll get to you in a minute, John, but uh, we were speaking to, Alex, we were speaking to uh, Tom Peterson from Intel, and did he not yes. position AI as doing exactly this, a possible use case? That he did. It was one of the hmm. uh, ones he talked about, about applying essentially style filters to the game. Uh, which uh, totally doable from a 2D perspective. Uh, like, yeah, sure. Um, uh, but the only thing that is like applying it to like a 3D perspective where the, the, due to the output image being fed into the GPU, the AI can get a sense of the 3D world and then manipulate it. That's a little bit harder without screen space issues. Um, okay. So, I would say yes for a certain part of it, um, but I th still think we're a long way off uh, from like the the applicability part. Like, does does someone want to play a game where it's like stylized, like well, maybe like like a like a painting of old, like some sort of impressionist impressionistic thing? I can imagine playing Dark Souls like that, for example. Um, but like for other games and other features, I don't know. I, I'm the utility is a little bit low for me, so I'm not so interested in it. But I can see yeah. it definitely being doable. Yeah. There's also a, a you know a, a time taken to process those Im those images, right? Yeah. And also the concept of the Im of them being temporally com uh, consistent <laughs> from one frame to the next. They usually aren't these these yes. AI things. They're not. Mm -hmm. So that's problematic. But so I'm curious about this question, John. Uh, are you a purist who values the authenticity of every individual pixel? Pixel um, racist. I would I would say I am a purist. I, I like my pixels. Do you like uh, DLSS though? I do like DLSS though. And it, it doesn't it doesn't really interfere too much with those original pixels and it makes them look nice and that but that's a different thing than like taking something that's the, like all the AI art stuff, I think it all it it's it's a lot of very impressive stuff, but it all has this look to it that feels off to me, you know. Like there's this well, super smooth weirdness to all the edges that I find like kind of uncomfortable to look at. I guess <laughs> I think what you mean. one technical director I spoke to about AI just basically said it works ninety nine percent of the time, but the one percent really sticks out, mm -hmm. which basically ruled it out for him. And that kind of makes sense based on the things we've seen, even the uh, chat GPT stuff that's emerging, which seems to be extremely compelling. But, you know, you actually did some uh, AI DF analysis this week. <laughs> I did, yeah. In that the was... style of Alex Battaglia, which I thought was quite yeah. amusing. It, it actually, had, yeah. It, the was... only issue with it is it didn't replicate my spelling errors. So it definitely wasn't. The, that, it, the, the main issue with it with it was that it said that uh, you could uh, use higher power PC hardware oh, to solve the problem. That's and right. I just, I just said to John Strait, that's not Alex. That's not me. I would never say that's, that. that's, you know, I also, I, I asked him... I mean, I know it cuts off at 2021, but I did ask him to review Forspoken for me. And oh, yeah. the the result was like, it reads, the latest game for Spoken, developed by Square Enix External Studios, is a stunning visual adventure game that pushes the boundary of what is possible on current-gen consoles. <laughs> Digital Foundry has taken a closer look at the technical aspects of the game, and it's clear a lot of effort has gone into making it one of the most visually impressive games on the market. And then it goes on to talk about how it's Unreal Engine 5. It oh. uses Nanite virtualized geometry. <laughs> it runs smoothly on both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X at a steady 60 FPS. <laughs> uh, and it adds ray tracing, which adds realism to the lighting and reflections. So I'm like, hmm. Like the exact like, opposite. It all reads like something that's totally, like, makes sense but if you actually look at what it's saying and consider the details it's a hundred percent wrong on everything mm -hmm. so well, i've heard ai uh <laughs> in terms of imagery being used uh described as hallucination mm -hmm. and that is definitely a hallucination of the df <laughs> article it truly really is yep. uh, i'm gonna move on from the concept of john as a pixel racist <laughs> oh yeah <don't> <laughs> 
<laughs> are you, and, you're adopting uh, the Tommy Tallarico school of thought now, like gaming racist. He's a gaming uh, racist. It's, it's, it's not my. Uh, it's not my words. It's the words of Alex Batali. I, I might have whispered it to the. Bible. Alex knows what the kids like, and he knows <laughs> about like. gaming racists. 